Hello there. Today we're going to talk about simple toggles in VRChat Udon. Um, to do a toggle, you first need an object you want to toggle. From my example, it's a door. And an object you want to click to toggle it. I just made a cube called button that I want to press to toggle the door on and off. So, to make a toggle now, we first need to create an Udon script on the object we want to click. So we just go on our object and we search for Udon behavior and we put that on on the object. Now we need to make sure it says Udon graph program asset and now we can press new program to create a new Udon program. We can open that up and this is how your Udon graph will look. So what we now need to do is we want to click this button and then it toggles the door off. So what we do is go into our Udon graph. We press space to open up the node search and we search for the event interact node. This basically says if you click uh, on the object, it sends the the white line out which is called flow so now we need to get the object we want to toggle in my case it's the door which is right here you can just go into your udon graph and you can pull it into it just click on the button again to make sure it's also defined which in my case it isn't so also take the door and pull it in there so it's the correct object for the correct variable here. Now you want to drag out from the game object circle thingy here and search for set active. If you now connect your your flow to this, what it will do is turn the door off as the set active has a a checkbox we can set to like select what we want to happen to the door so we can toggle it on and off but we want to be able to click the button to turn it off and then click it again to turn it on again so what we do is we drag out from our door again and we get a get active self this tells us if the object door is on or off. So we could just drag this in here now, but basically nothing would happen because it would go to the door. The door is on, so it would turn the door on because the bool value is the same. So what we'd want to do is take the opposite of the bool value which you can get if you drag out and search for unary negation, which basically tell, uh, takes a bool value and inverts it. If we now drag this in here, every time we click on the button, which is our object right here, it will look if the door is active, then get the opposite. So if it's active, it's uh, gonna give us a a, a false value and if it's not active it's going to give us a true value and then corresponding it's going to set the door active or not what we also want to do is change the interaction text to uh to something like door open and close so if you look at it it actually tells you what it does this should already work um, there's a program called SignMU, so you can test stuff like this in Unity itself. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. Uh, if you have it installed, you can just press the play button. Give it a second to load. And now we can test it in Unity if it works. As you can see, we already have a text if we hover over it. If we now click it, it turns the door off. And if we click it again, it turns it on again. So that is how we make simple Udon toggles.